for Lewis, my brother. A cool motherfucker who decided to ease his pain with crack cocaine when my adoration wasn't enough. Start. Sometimes I sit alone with his ashes, a bottle of gin and a blunt that I can't pass to him. I, I hold it in my hand and I tell him everything that I always wanted him to know. Hey, hey, Lewis, man, I, I, I finally learned how to drive a stick. And, and before then, man, you, you were the only person I knew that knew how, man, and that made you cool. Everything you did made you cool, from the way you styled your hair to the clothes you wore, your rough hands from working so many days, and <laughs> that laugh, that laugh that was just too authentic not to be, uh, not to be real. Man, he was so cool, and I wanted to be just like you. And, I just want to let you know that I finally learned how to drive stick, man. You know, I just had to learn how to shift gears. Remember you had this little Nissan? It, it was a putt-putt. We had to push start and we'd be rolling. And nothing was better than riding shotgun, beating down the block, son. Man, you kicking fresh beats off the speakers nonstop. And I love the way you made the gears lock, click, popped in place. We race against time in St. Louis traffic. Gas clutch break the skill it must take to work three pedals and the stick. Dodge the cops and robbers and not running the shit. Man, you, you said one day that I'd be able to do that too. Break it up, lock it down, and roll out like you. And I'm just trying to show you, tell you, wait. Let me ask you something about that one night in that dirty hotel on the north side. There was this pile of yellow stones and glass tubes and flames that rocketed from cheap cigarette lighters. And I didn't want to touch any of it. So I sat there and watched in confusion. Not until you told me to close my eyes, to, to turn away from the embers, look away from your shame. Your shame cracked my face and rocked my soul, left my head swimming with questions. And your head spun demonically, man, what it must have felt like to be so high. So far up, you forgot I was still watching you disappear between the clouds. Lewis, man. Let me tell you about that one day. That, that 26th day of that cold, bleak December, I remember how her usual outspokenness was gone. How the song that usually bounced forth from her lips was choked back in her throat. There must have been such a pain. Our mother spoke softly, stumbling through words so unfamiliar to her. She said that you, that you wouldn't be coming home for Easter or for Christmas or for New Year's. She said that your heart, your beautiful heart, had spun and stopped. Crushed the word between hard times and crack rocks. She said that you had lost the war with your addictions and that didn't make sense. See, I made it back from that war in Iraq, but you didn't make it home from Minneapolis, man. Her tears fell so heavy against my chest as she nursed the gaping hole that you left in her stomach and the shock wouldn't let me drop one. Until now, <laughs> as I sit here with your ashes and the gin you used to drink, and I just want to tell you, I learned how to drive a stick.